Good morning, everyone. Hope everybody's having a great start to their weekend. We're getting a little bit of a late start this morning. Uh, it's about 7 a.m. I was hoping to get out here actually just a little bit earlier. So I want to get some water out of the way before it gets too hot. So let's go ahead and get started on that real quick before I get into what's gone on throughout the week and uh, talk about some of the leak links I'm going to leave below. Uh, one of them was quite interesting. So we got all that finished there. I was actually planning on doing that last night. Uh, unfortunately, time got away from me and I didn't. And I can tell a few of them kind of suffered for it, but they'll be all right. Um, my cucumbers are still having some issues. And now it actually looks like um, something's eating them. Uh, basically on the leaves, you can see all these little trails where something's been going through. I'll show you. And the thing is, I've seen no bugs on them. So I don't know what it is. I really don't. So I'll keep an eye on them, but they're not looking too good. I'm gonna let them keep going, see if I can't uh, bring them back. I might get some uh, food grade diatomaceous earth to put on them. Um, now I do know, I can't say I haven't seen any bugs on them. Uh, about a week ago, I did see some ants in there. Maybe it's the ants, I don't know. I don't see any right now though. So we'll see what happens with that. So, regarding the links below. So we got approached by Planet Porcupine uh, a little while back. Uh, they do podcasts and such. Um, and one of the topics that they have an interest in is basically independent thinking and independent living um, which kind of leads them to looking for homesteaders and so they approached us uh, apparently one of our posts popped up in their uh, twitter feed and uh, we sat down uh, this would have been last weekend and did a little interview with them and i was going to mention it on my last video but i wanted to wait for the actual link to be available um, and it was funny because I saw the, they sent me the link and I saw it right after I finished uh, recording and began editing that video. So I'm like, well, I'll, I'll wait for, for the next one, which I thought was going to be in the next day or two. It's today. So, um, I'm going to leave a link down in the description, uh, for that. So be sure to check that out. And if you're interested in the rest of their content, make sure to, uh, you know, show them some support and follow them um, you'll find uh, obviously their links in that video they have of course obviously our links in that video uh, so I'll link that below be sure to check that out thank you to Planet Porcupine uh, it was actually uh, a pleasure to sit down and uh, discuss what we're doing with you and it was a lot of fun and we were just excited that somebody was actually reaching out in interest to interview us. I, I just thought that was kind of quite awesome. So again, be sure to check that out. Link in the description. And yeah. The other links. My grow bags. Now I don't get a whole lot of questions on here about that. Um, but I do get questions uh, predominantly from our Facebook page. Uh, from people messaging me um, about our grow bags. 
So again, those links are in the description below. Uh, the brand I use is Vivosun. Now, I'm not sponsored by them. I'm not affiliated with them. Uh, all it was was I was looking for grow bags. Searched up on Amazon. Uh, these had not only the highest rating by far, and it was also the highest rating with the highest amount of actual reviews. I mean, it was in the thousands and was still highly rated. And one of the top comments is what really got me. Uh, and I think I'd mentioned this before. Uh, so this individual had purchased uh, some of the grow bags and they did multiple updates. They did a one-year update, a two-year update, a three-year update. I think the last one was a five-year update and they were finally having to replace some of them after five years. Now when I, I don't know what the cost is as of this video, uh, I think they were right about $25 for a five pack for the 30 gallon, which is mostly what you see in my garden back here is the 30 gallon. Um, so I'm like, well, if these last for five years, granted we're not planning on being here for five years, but if they were to last for five years, each bag then would have cost me a buck a year. I'm okay with that. So that's why we use them. That's why I'll continue to use them. So far, they have actually been really great bags. Um, so I'm just, they have multiple sizes. Uh, again, I use predominantly 30 gallon bags. Uh, maybe you don't need those. Uh, they do have smaller bags. I think they have the five gallon, 10 gallon, uh, 20 gallon. 20, uh, I think there's even a 25 gallon and obviously the 30 gallons. Uh, so if you're interested, I've got affiliate links in the description below. Uh, those will take you to Amazon where you can uh, purchase them there. And if you use our, our links, obviously that helps out the channel. So uh, that'd be appreciated as well. So enough about uh, all of that. Let's get back to the gardening and such here. Um, actually, let's get to me uploading. Uh, this is something I've been thinking about the last few days. So my videos have been a little on the sporadic side lately, um, especially with you know having a couple weeks in between videos. That's something I plan on taking care of here real soon. Yes, it's been really busy. Uh, this upcoming week's going to be really busy uh, with my son's graduation and everything. Um, but I'm still going to start trying to uh, get more videos uploaded more often. Uh, even if it means me going back to daily uploads. Um, just because this is what I want to do. I want to share our experience with you. And I think I need to actually incorporate the camera in more aspects of the life maybe. Uh, so that's something I'm going to be exploring here. We'll see how this goes. Um, so now we'll get back to the garden. Now even though... Uh, my cucumbers are not doing so hot. Um, my tomato plants actually have kind of taken a little bit of a turn as well. That could have been just because of temperatures. Um, could have been because of um, watering. I've t we, we do have some fruit that's starting to form. I'm, I'm letting them go. I'm letting a lot of these go ahead and start fruiting. Uh, normally, I would just continue pruning. Um, but with the upcoming heat and the way that I've been watching the plants kind of react to that heat, um, I've decided to go ahead and just let them fruit um, to see if I can get as much off of them as possible. Um, again, I'm going to be planting a lot earlier uh, this time, or, you know, for basically next spring. Um, of course, I have the fall planting I'll be doing here uh, later this year as well. But again, first year gardener uh, you know learn by your mistakes um, like I said my my cucumbers are just puny my watermelon plant on the other hand see if you can see it here is doing quite well I've actually got of course you know my little watermelons forming my cantaloupes not looking too bad it's a little worse for wear today again I think that might have been the watering it's got several uh, let me get around to this other side here. It has several little um, melons that are forming. So, they're just little hairy things. I'll show you here. I 
think they're just really cool looking. Uh, my squash, not doing so hot either. Um, now there is something I've been looking at regarding my zucchini. So I went ahead and actually uh, harvested that one big one that I had here. Uh, I'll actually be cooking that up here really soon. I haven't cooked it up yet, but it's still good. Um, but I've been trying to figure out why that's the only one I've gotten so far. And it turns out um, I may have to do a little bit of hand pollination on these. Um, so I'm going to be looking into that a little bit more. And that, maybe that's the case with the um, squash over here. Um, to be honest, I think that one's just... Well, I, I don't know. It, it's been on the puny side from the get-go. Uh, it didn't get as big as this uh, uh, zucchini plant did by any stretch of the imagination. It's just, it stayed relatively small. So, my basil is flowering all over the place. I'm going to have to prune all that off. And it's a little, um, you can tell the heat's gotten to it. It's been triple digits all week. Uh, now, this weekend is cooling down a bit. Um, today is only supposed to hit 94. Uh, I think it's supposed to be in basically in the mid to high 90s all weekend. So, that's actually a little cooler um, but again those high triple digits are coming um, so we'll see what survives and what doesn't I am going to still get some more shade up on this other side here um, I think that'll help I do have oh my other little watermelon plants are starting to come in so I hope they make it too here there's a couple of them my uh, crimson sweet uh, when I transplanted them they didn't seem like they were going to take to the transplant very well uh, and I actually thought they were just going to die off one of them did um, but these ones are starting to really look a lot better so I think those would be okay uh, it seems like the melons um, are probably what's going to do the best here and I think I've mentioned this before I didn't realize that Arizona actually has a quite uh, substantial uh, market for cantaloupes it's it's a apparently they grow really well here uh, speaking of which I do have two of those here Those are my uh, Honey Rock uh, cantaloupes. And I have a couple of other um, watermelons here. Now, there's this other plant here, and I've just, uh, I decided to let it stay because I don't know what it is. When I planted uh, all of these in my little uh, seed starting trays, this one plant came up here. Now, when it first came up, I thought it was just another one of the uh, watermelons that were sprouting but it's not. I'll show you that one here along with of course the watermelon. So the two smaller ones are the sugar baby uh, watermelons. That larger one is whatever it was that sprouted in my starting trays. I have no idea what it is. I don't have anything else in my yard that looks like that. I don't know how it had to have been something that was already maybe in my garden soil mix that I was using. Um, I really don't know. I don't know if I should actually pull that thing. I have no idea. I just, I, I don't know. So I'm letting that go. Oh, I think I might have a bean sprout here. Or not sprout, but a uh, couple of flowers. I do. Look at this.
And this is, uh, what kind of, it's a bush bean. This is the blue cake bush bean. So, oh, I got a couple others that are starting to form. Here, look at this. I mean, a little excited there. I'm gonna look at this other one down here. So this particular bush, or this uh, particular bean plant, um, is finally starting to do well. Um, out of the three, it was kind of one of the, oh, wow. Okay, <laughs> getting excited here. Let me show you this one. Got another little flower on that one. So this one was kind of puny for quite some time, but it's starting to look a lot better. Um, so quite happy about that. My serranos are starting to come in quite nicely here. Uh, let's take a look at those. Can't wait for those to be large enough to start producing. Uh, some of my smaller pepper plants, uh, like my red hot chili pepper, um, I've decided to let go. Um, it's actually got a few small peppers that it's uh, started forming here, and it's got a lot of little flowers on them here. And then, of course, I've already shown you my uh, little candy cane peppers. Uh, they're slowly starting to change colors. They're still pr mostly green here. Uh, so that's that one. And then, of course, my, um, my other little sweet pepper here that, unfortunately, I didn't put the tag in here and don't remember what kind it was. I know it was a sweet pepper. Um, I think it was even some so sort of a bell. Um, but I'm not positive about that. I actually do actually have one little pepper that's starting to form. So it'll be exciting to see those come up here. Um, I wish I'd put the tag in here. I don't know why I didn't. I've been pretty good about putting tags in on most of them, although I've, not all of them. So we'll just have to wait and see what I get out of this. So that's going to pretty much do it uh, for me this morning. Uh, I think I got a little bit of pruning I think I'm going to go do here. Not a bunch, but definitely a little bit. And of course I've got uh, you know the rest of the day to take care of um, oh yeah and my peas so I've turned the bag around now the reason being is yes all week it's been really windy but yesterday was the worst uh, it was very windy yesterday it was very windy uh, air quality was horrible uh, between all the dust and pollution and everything else in the air and it was actually blowing my little pea tower that I'm trying to build here. So I kind of turned it the other direction so that, you know, it had a little more support. But I've got quite a few little bean, uh, peas on it. Um, I'm probably gonna be looking at harvesting those really soon.
Now, once again, um, these, from what I've read, uh, tend to prefer the cooler weather. So the fact that they've made it this long and have actually produced this much has me quite excited. Um, I don't, I still don't expect them to uh, survive too much longer, especially once we start ge getting into triple digits as the regular. So, but again, I'm going to let them just keep going as long as they'll keep going. So anyway, that's going to do it for me today. Um, once again, if you haven't already, please hit the like and subscribe button. Uh, that really helps us out a whole lot. Um, and of course, if you're interested in seeing more content, make sure to hit that notification bell. And that'll do it. We'll see you on the next one.